The tesseract, mathematically, is a higher dimensional object. Well, if you have access to a higher dimension, it means you are no longer bound to where you are in time. We, though we can move left and right, and up and down, and forward and back, we have access to X, Y, and Z at will. But you are a prisoner of the present, forever transitioning between the past and the future. In a higher that's the fourth dimension, X, Y, Z, and time. In a higher dimension, you can step back and look at your entire timeline and access it no differently from how you just walk around in a room. So the question, can you go back in time to change something, that's not even the right question. Once you see your entire timeline, you are always being born. You are always dying. You are always in school. You are always asleep. You are always brushing your teeth. These things are always happening, and you just access them at will. So in the Tesseract, he's not changing the past. That always happened. We saw it happen. Jessica Chastain, as a child, saw the books come out. It's a mystery why. We find out why. Because her father does go into space, does go into the black hole, does access the Tesseract to try to tell her to have him not go. But here's the weird part. He did go. He had to go. Otherwise, he couldn't be telling her that he shouldn't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right? Oh, my brain what? hurts! You know what? Watch what happened. Yeah, so, think about, so think about this. Think about this. If she did interpret his signals correctly and managed to prevent him from going, then he would have never given her the signals in the first place to tell him to not go. So that entire series of events had to unfold exactly as portrayed. I believe, Murph. Don't, don't let me leave, Murph. <laughs> no!